What are you guys doing here? Go home. Oh, you guys must think that there's a video today. Sadly, have no video for you guys today. Someone's at the door. Hello? Huh. got a package from a John Doe 2080 Plays TV. That is me. Very, very random indeed. Ah, okay. Now we got a video on, guys. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, AB. Welcome back to another YouTube video. If you guys are new, please consider subscribing and turning on notification bell so you don't miss a single video. If you guys are wondering what's on my hands and my fingernail right here, that is henna. I went to the uh, fair with my date, and I got a poorly done henna tattoo. And this is going to last on my arm for about three weeks. And whenever I was peeling off the uh, stuff for it, got it all over my hands. So uh, pardon the uh, dirty look on my hand here. Today, we are going to be doing a review on the UK Mattel Woody. The reason he's called the UK Mattel Woody is simply because he was only distributed in the United Kingdom and Australia. Maybe other places too, like New Zealand. Not too sure, but I'll definitely ask one of my New Zealand friends about it. Now, I've been trying to hunt this bad boy down for a while. Now, the reason I didn't get him sooner is because I looked all across American servers on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Mercari, and one guy on Mercari from America legit was selling a UK Woody doll for $200. And I don't want to pay for that. I knew I could get it cheaper somehow. So I decided to go on Google and see if I could type in eBay UK and maybe I'll get more Maybe I'll get more common results for cheaper prices for the UK Woody doll. And I, on top of it, I also used a VPN in a UK server. And I think that helped increase my chances of finding one for a cheaper price. And I found this Toy Story 3 edition UK Woody doll because there's three different versions of this guy. I found him for 44 pounds sterling in the UK. And that is about nearly $60 in, in America. So that's a better price than 200 one thing I should note before getting fully into the review is that his bandana is not the original UK Woody doll bandana. I uh, noticed that whenever I bought this guy on eBay, he was missing his bandana. So I did some looking on eBay and I found a Medicom version 2 Woody bandana for like 25 bucks, maybe 30. And I bought it. And now, honestly, I think he looks good with it. Now, whenever I got this Woody doll, I noticed that his badge is very good. Like it's almost identical to the movie it's nearly movie accurate but it's like secured on really fastly inside his uh, shirt through his vest too so you can't really get the badge off without ripping the woody doll which i don't want to do that apart from the badge being very close to being movie accurate here he also has nearly movie accurate boots which i was also initially attracted to with this woody doll along with the badge and he's got andy on here printed on really well like that is nearly perfect right there and then i also of course wrote my own name on this boot like i do with most of my woody dolls his jeans are not actual denim they're like very well print on denim like love the look of them like very nice print on denim i think they're even better than the uh signature collection woody dolls uh, print on denim pants his buttons on his shirt right here are very well secured on here right there there and there and he has a very nice head sculpt i really love the head sculpt right here doesn't have any lot hairlines like he does in the movie but cannot really complain this is a really nice head sculpt right here and he also has the full head articulation which is always nice to have in a woody doll we toys can see everything can i put my balls in your jaw Hey guys, Editing AB here. Just want to show you guys a couple extra things I've noticed about the doll. He has really good head flop, just like the movie. Very nice. 
there's not a lot that I do not like about this Woody doll. In fact, I love a lot of things about this Woody doll, except I do not like his hat. It's not proper material and it feels weird, makes me my skin tingle and cringe. I hate it. It's ugh. Oh no! Gringe! Very rubbery, kind of like the uh, uh, Takarotomi Japan Woody doll. Like, ugh, freaking hate that. Please note that I'm actually going to replace this Woody doll hat with a 2019 Disney Store Woody doll hat because Hayden from Little Green Alien actually did that for his Woody doll right there. Next thing I want to point out is his cupped hands right here. They're similar to like the signature collection Woody doll hands. They're cupped, but darker skin pigmentation right there. And also his hands are softer plastic and they're very much more squishy and uh, don't know how to feel about the hands though. Another thing I want to point out is that his belt looks really cool. It reminds me of the uh, Thinkway Playtime Woody, and the awesome part is you can actually take it off if you want right here, which is really nice. And another thing I want to point out is that he has actual pockets right there, like legit pockets. You can, like, if you find something that could fit in them, you can actually put something in them. He did come with a tag right there, which bugged me, so I cut it off right there. Still a little bit there, but it's not as noticeable to me and it doesn't bug me as much like this now before i get into showcasing the uk mattel woody dolls voice box i want to kind of do a size comparison with all the other woody dolls and maybe a couple buzz light your action figures the first one i want to compare in size is the mattel roundup fun woody doll from the u.s it's basically the u.s counterpart to the uk mattel woody doll and uh, the U.S. Mattel Woody doll here is smaller in size. And uh, I'm just going to say, say st straight off the bat that the U.K. Mattel Woody doll has the more film accurate size. Not completely film accurate, but it's more up there than the Roundup Fun Woody. And I will be doing a compare toy battle with these two in the next upcoming video. Another Woody doll I want to compare in size is the Hasbro Woody doll. And I'm just going to say that the Hasbro Woody doll is actually a bit taller than the UK Woody doll right here. The final Woody doll I want to compare in size to is the original 1995 Thinkway Woody doll. And he is by far much bigger than the UK Mattel Woody doll here. Now we're going to compare the UK Mattel Woody doll with some different Buzz Lightyear variations. Not bad size with the Takratomi Buzz up next to him. I wouldn't say it looks bad, it looks pretty good. Next, we are gonna be comparing the UK Woody doll size to the Disney Store Buzz, which is right off the bat, not bad either. This is a pretty pretty good uh, scale size to each other. Now we're gonna be comparing the size of the UK Woody doll to the US Mattel Buzz. Honestly, he kind of goes either way with any of the Buzz Lightyear action figures I got. I was just doing the size comparison with the Buzz Lightyear action figures because we all know that Woody is just a little bit taller than Buzz in the films. Now for the moment you've been waiting for, the voice box. I'd like to join your posse, boys, but first I'm going to sing a little song. You got a date with justice, one-eyed Bart. Where's my trusty Steve Bullseye? I'm going to college. Look at me. I'm big toy on campus. Hey guys, Editing AB here with another fun fact about the UK Mattel Woody doll. Hayden from Little Green Alien actually showed us a little trick you could do with his voice box. All three versions of the UK Mattel Woody have their own different kinds of voice boxes. This one is the Toy Story 3 version, so he's got some phrases from the third movie. The first one they did has a bunch of more movie accurate phrases, which is the, the nearly perfect Jim Hanks voice box, and I'll show you that right now. You're my favorite deputy. Somebody's poisoned the water hole. Yeah! Get you up, partner. There's a snake in my boat. Reach for the sky. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Draw. And then we got one other UK Mattel Woody that we don't really like his voice box or anything because he just really makes sounds and doesn't really say much. But yeah, out of all the UK Mattel Woody voice box phrases, I will say that the Toy Story 3 one I have is second best right here. 
But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys made it to the end. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy, AB. Out. Peace out, Rainbow Traps.